Well, the final score does not really suggest uh, how tight this game was all game long. Jays lose 7 nothing to the Houston Astros, but all of those runs came in the 8th inning, or all of them except, I mean, five of the seven runs were in the eighth inning off relievers. Uh, but the story of today, Ryan Baraki, the Blue Jays prospect, top 10 prospect, and soaring through the system the last couple of years, gets his first big league start against the World Series champions, and he does not disappoint. He puts up a fantastic performance. Six innings, six hits. Uh, two runs, three strikeouts, and four walks. Now, don't don't really look at those four walks at all, because three of those walks for ho for were, were right to uh, Jose Altuve, and not a single strike. And I don't blame him. Why would you want to pitch to him? Al Jose Altuve is a freak of nature. You don't want to face him, especially as a rookie. You're like, I don't know, no, bases open, fine, don't worry about it. And the only two runs he gave up was on a little dribbler through the middle from Evan Gaddis. He, he did get in trouble most innings, but what we were able to see today is the composure, you know, in the tough situations, second and third, two out, first and second, one out. He was able to get out of these innings. Now, a tough wild pitch, and then the dribbler up the middle. That's tough, but you're, they, they give up. he gives up two runs. But if you're looking at his ERA as kind of like a statistic well, of, of how he did, ERA of three in the game. Very good. And I thought he was fantastic. You saw him mix his pitches up nicely. I, I, we did see some pitches that were up in the zone that shouldn't have been. But again, it's his first major league start against a very good team. It's going to happen. I saw a lot of quality pitches. He is not afraid to bust a fastball inside to anybody. You know, his change up away is great. I don't know. I really enjoyed what I saw today from Barucki. He did get some very good defense behind him. A great play by, by Ledmus Diaz. Diving play to get, uh, I think it was Brian McKenna. No, I think it was Evan Gaddis, actually, to end an inning. That, that would have been a run if it got through. Then Russell Martin, and kind of like the foul tip, hits it up in the air and with his glove and catches it. Crazy play there and gets it done. Uh, got some help defensively from his guys. Devin Travis didn't help him in the first, I think it was the first, no, second inning. And he, I think it was the first. It might have been the first. Um, but overall, I thought it was a very good performance. He takes the loss, not deserved. But I'm very happy with, with, with what we saw from Ryan Barucki. I think I think he's going to get another shot. I can't see why not. I'm very excited to see what this kid has in store for us uh, in the coming, I guess, months and possibly years, just depending on how he sustains himself. Now, we also heard today his story about injury, had Tommy John. And that's the problem, guys, with drafting high school pitchers. You never really know what their arm is, how their arm is developed and everything because Barucki had Tommy John when he was 18 or 19 years old and for the first two years of his major league career, didn't pitch. Barely at all. So for the for Blue Jays fans, you think of a 15-round pick, you think, okay, well, he's a left-handed pitcher. Oh, Tommy John, well, his career's over. Barucki worked hard. The Blue Jays brass... And, and development staff and, and managers down in the minors worked him hard. And guys, he has overpaid his dues. Eight years in the minor leagues to make his first big league start today. He was terrific. The Jays, no offense. Five hits in the game. Uh, how many did they get against Morton? Four. They struck out 13 times. He was dealing. He was fantastic. I'm not going to put it past the Astros at all. They were the better team. They got the clutch hits. Now, did, now I got to say, and they got the great defense. Mariznick climbing the wall. I mean, look, great chick did it yesterday. Mariznick did it today. That goes off the wall. Two runs are probably scoring on that play, and we're tied at two apiece, and it's a whole new ball game. But instead, he makes the play, you know, and uh, and they keep it a 2 nothing game, and then they run away with it in the eighth inning. So, I mean, not a whole lot of offense today. Really a lot of one-fers. Uh, Hernandez was one for four. Salarte one for three with a little blooper in the, I think it was the ninth inning there. Pilar one for four. Uh, Martin one for three. Grichik one for four. And Morales 0 for one with the strikeout. And uh, But impressing Gamet who came on to to mop up, I guess, the 2-0 uh, deficit. Gave up three in his one in inning and a third. Gave up three hits, and it was a three-run shot. I think it was by Jake Mariznick. And then Tim Mesa came out in the ninth inning and gave up three hits and uh, a two-run shot by Alex Bregman. And uh, that was that was it. That was the damage. That's what happened. 
Um, but all that aside, I mean, those two relievers I just mentioned, they're nothing special for this team. As much as I want to, I want Tim Mazza to possibly be a lefty of the future for this team, I don't really know what we're going to get from him. So that is just that. Gilmet, he's just a fill-in guy for now. Baraki was fantastic. And that's all we can really take moving forward. It's a loss. You split the series. You end your win streak. Whatever. You move on to the next one. Tomorrow is a, uh, an afternoon affair. Well, yeah. 2 first pitch there at, uh, at Minute Maid Park. Marco Estrada versus Dallas Keuchel in the finale of the series. Marco Estrada, I mean, he's been on a nice roll lately. ERA, ERA down to 4.48 uh, in his last, what, uh, four outings. He's got at least six innings and hasn't given up more than two runs. He's been great, and his strikeout numbers have been up there, and his walks have been down. And I think that's big for Marco Estrada, and I think that's what you got to look forward to tomorrow, being able to throw quality strikes, mixing his pitches up nicely, throwing more curveballs to throw off the hitters, and just pitching a good ball game. And hey, the Jays still have an opportunity to win the series. Yeah, they got smoked today, but it's one game. doesn't matter. They look to win the series tomorrow afternoon against the Houston Astros, and then have a day off and come home for Canada Day weekend uh, to take on the Detroit Tigers in Game 1 of that series. Got Fran and former Blue Jay Francisco Lariano on the mound. By the way, uh, thanks for Tasker Hernandez. I know his strikeout numbers were through the roof, and I think he had, what, two again today or something? Uh, no, he had three today. So his strike, that's something that's got to change when it comes to him. He's got to be able to make contact because um, he's got the power. He's just got to... If he makes contact, he'll get a lot of scribber base hits. He'll get a lot of, you know, bloop singles because he's so strong. Just got to make contact. Still a young guy. Good looking young player. I'm excited for it. But today, not so much for the offense. Kind of expected Charlie Morton has dominated the Jays in his career. Uh, over, the, at least over the last couple of years, he has as well. And he continues that today with seven shutout innings, four hit ball, and 13 strikeouts. All right? So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. You guys enjoyed this video. And you guys enjoyed Ryan Brucky's debut as a Toronto Blue Jay. Hit that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below, guys. What'd you think Baraki's outing? I was really impressed with him. But I want to hear what you guys have to say about that. What'd you think of the Jays overall today? Their approach to the plate. They just look lost. They were looking fastball. They got a ton of curveballs. Whenever they're looking curveball, they got fastballs. They look silly a lot. So what happened today, whatever, you got to move on from it. I want to hear what you guys have to say about all that. And uh, we'll talk to you guys uh, a week today, podcast edition. Links in the description, guys, for the podcast channel and for the podcast itself on iTunes. Also, guys, um, Twitter down below, follow up, send me a DM, do all that great kind of stuff. And um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow night. I guess, actually, no, tomorrow early evening, hopefully, as the Blue Jays look to win the series against the uh, against the Houston Astros, 2-10 first pitch, Marco Estrada, Dallas Keuchel in the finale, as the Jays, like I said, look to win the series, 2-10 uh, pitch, 2-10 uh, two, two first pitch at Minute Maid Park, Let's go. I mean, have a, have a winning road. Uh, what a, a winning road trip against the Angels and Astros. Didn't think I'd be able to say that, but they go for that tomorrow afternoon. We'll talk to you guys then.